Hey, good morning, everybody. Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Let's talk about the weekend. We still got the hints of maybe a little bit of wet snow, but there is a lot of overhyping this event already online. Uh, this is not going to be a huge snowfall event for most areas. Now, in the mountains, might be a different story, but if anything, this morning we're seeing a trend away from a significant snow east of the mountains. There's really not much there to begin with, and I'll kind of explain why here in a minute. So looking at the wider view here, we've got one system heading our way today into Friday. This is not the main system. The system we're watching is actually back here. It's an upper level system. Low pressure is going to form down here and then move up the coast. And this upper level low is going to be the big player if we're going to see some wintry weather east of the mountain. So let's get right to it. All right, so we'll dive right into the future cast here. Here's a system today into tomorrow. Not much of a system, but watch this coming into the central part of the country right there. That's the player in this system. Watch as it digs down. It forces what we call cyclogenesis. That just means a storm is going to form somewhere along the southeast coast, the Gulf of Mexico. Here's the upper level system, but look at how the front gets really active here. And we start to see a bunch of moisture building. The surface low starts to crank up initially over the Florida panhandle, then tries to move northeast. As the cold air loft moves in, occasionally in the mountains in particular, you see snow. But watch every once in a while here in the guidance, you'll start to see a little bit of blue or white mix in at times. And again, this is not going to be uh, an ice event. There's no freezing rain, likely no sleet at all. This is either going to be rain or snow. It, it's kind of a cut and dry. That's the one thing that's the clearest thing in this forecast. But you see underneath the upper low, a little bit of snow forms in Georgia, into central South Carolina, but it's very isolated. That's the tough part about this forecast. There could be a little band of heavy snow somewhere, especially if we see a, a, a band of heavy rain develop that drags that cold air down to the surface. But it doesn't look like it's really all that big of a deal or that set in stone. It really, to me, you know, when you look at this, this is just kind of a transient system as far as the snow concern is it's a pretty nice little low we're probably going to see some really heavy rain on super bowl sunday but the the cold air just isn't there that's really what it boils down to so let's go back here real quickly and show you those ensembles i showed you these yesterday there's a lot fewer today okay um these are the overnight ensemble runs the zero z of the european uh we're down to just four out of 51 or two tenths of an inch the gfs Still the bullish of the two, but even it has not gone up or down. You're not seeing a bunch of snow showing up in the ensembles. The ensembles are flat or trending down for the amount of snow. That should be a telling sign. If we look at the probabilities of seeing one inch of snow, uh, this is the probability from the European ensembles. Again, not a single model, 81 variations. Um, we'll go all the way through Monday morning. The mountains have the highest probability. Outside of the mountains, you're in single percentages to maybe 10%, so not really off the charts. GFS, I'll show you that real quickly. Same piece of guidance. It's still a little more bullish, but the area of coverage is much smaller. Notice the mountains, and it is around a 50 to 60% chance in this very small area in the upstate into the Charlotte area, but that location is gonna be very fluid. I do think somebody in here, maybe in here, and here, there's gonna be a band where the snow is gonna mix in. Trying to pin that down right now is incredibly difficult. Um, and I think that's the issue. The upper low is a key part here. So this is looking at the 850 millibar, which is 5,000 feet off the ground. Basically where we look at, is it cold enough to snow? The blue is what you wanna see. The blue is actually below zero Celsius, which is freezing. You could see some pockets of blue trying to move out of the mountains as the low forms and heads up here. So right here, you could see there are some pockets of colder air, but in between, it's above. So this is a weird situation where it could be raining here, raining here, maybe even here and in here, but there could be a very narrow band of snow here as the low moves and pinning where that is down because we don't know if the low is going to be up here, down here a little bit, back to the west if this cold air is deep. So there's still a lot of, that's why it's such a wild card system. It's not something that's cut and dry. Normally when we get snow here, uh, we would have blue over the entire region. <laughs> it would be more about the track of the low. In this case, it's really, you know, a bizarre setup because look at this. I mean, there's no snow up here and we could be talking about a narrow band of snow down here. That's the kind of wackiness um, that that system has. Another great product, and, I, and I've showed this a couple of times from the Weather Prediction Center, is this product which shows a probability of winter weather. So what we can zoom in on the Carolinas 
And this is the probability of one inch of snow through Sunday morning. And you can see through Sunday morning, the, the highlight of all the guidance is really aimed right at the mountains. Another thing I look at are soundings. You know, we just had the spy balloon go by. We launch weather balloons twice a day to get us a sounding, a profile of the atmosphere. So if we look at forecast versions of this, we can go into Sunday. Um, this is Sunday morning. And if you look at the profile, the setup right now, so it's hard to see. I know this is 10 a.m. based on the Shref, which is an ensemble. You could see the curve. So the freezing line, and I'll highlight a few things. This is the freezing line in the atmosphere down to the surface. It's at an angle. The red is the temperature with height, and these are in thousands of feet, 5, 10, 15, 20. The, the, the green is the dew point. You could see around, you know, it looks to be about um, seven or 8,000 feet. The temperature's above freezing all the way to the ground, which means any snow up here is going to melt on the way down and turn back to a raindrop. That's the way the sounding looks right now. And if you look at the profile here, yeah, it's below freezing, below freezing, below freezing. And right here, which is around 8,000 feet, temperature jumps above freezing and stays above all the way to the ground. So that's an indication as well that we're likely going to see mostly rain. It's still something to keep an eye on. The trend today has actually been a little bit less likely. I think it's because we're snow starved that everyone is excited for this, but this is likely going to be a big hit or miss situation where we're all going to see rain on Sunday. And then some of us at some point Sunday afternoon, we might even midday Sunday, we might see a quick burst of snow as this thing moves through the area. Of course, I will continue to post updates over the next couple of days as we get closer. Um, but if you're excited for snow right now, the trend is flat, if not slightly down for a few wet snowflakes. And please don't look for big accumulations. This is not going to be a big accumulating storm. If snow does fall, it's going to melt quickly. It's going to be wet. It's going to be a lot of rain mixed in. So liquid um, equivalent is going to be pretty high for this snowfall. So we're probably talking about white rain, I like to call it, where we might get a, a snow dusting on the grass, the rooftops, but it melts within an hour or so. And really impacts on the roads should be close to zero because the surface temperatures during this whole event never get lower than about 34 degrees, if at all. So you're looking at temperatures staying warm enough that this is going to be just wet. I uh, hope you have a great Thursday. I probably will do another update tonight. I will continue to post updates on my page. Uh, make sure you're sharing this with your friends or family. The Weather IQ page on YouTube is a great spot. I post all my vlogs there. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get these notifications when I post an update.